We can do nothing about what other people are doing, no matter how much we recognize and understand that their behavior is self-destructive, it's out of our hands. Yes, we can admonish to a point, but what, <laughs> what effect will it have? That's what you have to ask yourself. We were told throughout the Gospels, warned throughout the Gospels, particularly in the letters of Paul and Timothy, what to expect in these times, how people's behavior would change, and to look for those signs, to, to see them as warnings and what to avoid. In particular, we're admonished about um, avoiding and staying away from people that have a form of godliness and deny the power thereof. Meaning, they say they're Christian, but their actions speak otherwise. Okay, and actions are what count. I can get on here and go blah, 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 but if my life is not striving towards Christ is not a model of Christ-like behavior, then it's meaningless. It's absolutely meaningless. We preach first with our actions, secondly with our tongues. I want to be an open book. I want everything to be out there in the open. I'm not going to tell you every detail of my life because it's not interesting and it's not important to you. Why would it be? But if you have a question, I'm not going to lie to you. I will tell you very quickly. But I can't hide anything from you. I can't hide anything from anyone because that's not me. That's Everything will be brought out into the open anyway, and I'm aware of that. I know that. So if I have any deep, hardened, hidden secrets, I'm only as sick as those secrets. That's what they used to tell us in AA. And bottom line is, we've been told, avoid those people. Avoid the hypocrites. Avoid the people that say they're one thing, then act in a whole other way. Oh, well, you know, I love Jesus, but you don't talk about Jesus. You don't center your life around Jesus. It's not evident in your behavior. So why would I want to be around you? Because you might lead me down the path that you're on. No thanks. It's very, very precarious now. But it's not that we don't, not like we don't have a blueprint. It's not like we don't have red flags throughout the scripture telling us this is what you avoid. This is what you don't follow. This is what you see through. It's, it's on us if we're too lazy to do that basic research, and I'm talking about spiritual research, searching in the Word to know where we're at and what is happening. I mean, there are so many distractions now, and it's, I can't tell you yesterday, every time I was trying to focus on prayer, some nonsense would come up. I know it was demonic. It's all demonic now. Everything has a spiritual source now. It's all to get us away from what we're supposed to be doing, from our purpose. So those people that are deliberately doing it, deliberately distracting you, I don't know. I don't know. I worry for them, but I'm not going to do it. So heed the warning signs, especially read Timothy 2. Read it. Those are the people that we see now. That's their behavior. That's their characteristics. Shun them. You know, shun them, because they will lead you down the primrose path. That's what I'm doing. 